Hello everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Um, I haven't done anything, any taste tests in a while. It's been at least a week or something like that. Uh, of course I've done a few things in the morning, but that's different type items for morning, for breakfast type items or something you might have with coffee. But uh, I had this one in the freezer. I got it a while back. I, I forgot it was even in there. And it's from, it's from Dollar Tree. It's Banquet Spaghetti and Meatballs. Of course, it was $1.25. It says, made from scratch marinara sauce. I don't have my other glasses in here, so I'll use these. So, let's look and see what... Uh, what the nutrition facts are. If you eat the whole thing, I'll be eating half of it as I usually do. Um, most things I just eat half of it and then I'll split it with joy. Um, so this is what you what it would be like if you ate the whole thing. There'd be 320 calories, which that's not horrible for one of your meals if it was a meal. Um, you know, if you had three meals uh, a day that were 320 calories, it would only be 960 calories. So that, you know, so that's not too bad for one meal. Uh, total fat, 14 grams is 18%. You know, you want it to be, for, for three meals a day, you would want it to be less than 33% or at least no more. Uh, and uh, saturated fat, 23%, so it's still under that mark. That's, that's my feelings on it. If you have three meals a day and you don't need a lot in between or after, you know, 23% or 18%, is not real bad as long as your total is less than a hundred percent you know for a whole day um, it's got 40 milligrams of cholesterol 13 percent uh, I knew the sodium would be in there uh, for things like this 840 milligrams is 37 percent so this isn't something already I can tell you this is something I wouldn't eat very often for me but, you know, I, I try thing, you know, I try them here and I try half of them, but I don't, I don't always eat stuff like this at all. Usually I don't eat much lunch, even. We, if we have a sandwich, we split it, you know, and I might eat a, less than a handful of chips or something. So 37%, you know, that's above that 33%. So you'd have to really watch your sodium the rest of the day. Uh, and it's in everything. You know, uh, not everything, you know, that's made, but I'm saying it, it's, it's just lots of sodium and lots of things that you buy at the store. Same with sugar. You'd think something that wasn't even sweet wouldn't have sugar in it or something, you know, and you look at it and there's sugar in it. So 34 grams of carbs is 12%. Five grams of fibers, 18%. I'm surprised it has that much fiber. Uh, six grams of sugar and two grams of added sugar is four percent. Sixteen grams of protein, that's a decent number. Um, Eight percent of calcium, fifteen percent of iron, and ten percent of potassium. You know, that's that's good. Uh, you can either microwave it or put it in the oven. Uh, if you microwave it, just slit the film, microwave on three minutes, turn and replace film, microwave an additional one and a half to two minutes, and check that it's cooked thoroughly. If you decide to do it in the oven, you preheat the oven to 350, slit film to vent, cook on baking sheet in center of the oven, 35 minutes. So I will fix this and we will try it out in just a second. <laughs> See you in a second. Okay, everybody, here's what it looks like. There's five meatballs in here. My kitty's over here sniffing around. She's right beside me, right there. Sniffing around. Must smell pretty good, huh, kitty? Um, it seems to have plenty of sauce in it. It's a little bit watery, seems like, the sauce, but at least there's enough to, to cover the noodles. You can see, like, water... Looks like water or something. So let's see what one of these, I don't know how hot this is. A little sauce on this meatball.
it's not too bad. Um, my guess is it has like a little bit of soy protein or something in it. Does it you know, it tastes okay. It, you know, tastes, you know, like if you bought some frozen meatballs, it would probably taste about as good as some of them. Um, it's okay. They're not fantastic, you know. Homemade meatballs is about the best way to go. But let's try this. You like spaghetti, kitty? Look at kitty right here. Shay, you think you would like spaghetti? Hmm? You're being awful good, though. Okay, let's see what this is like. Hmm. It's good. It's not amazing, you know, or anything, but there's, you know, there's a decent amount here I noticed too. Meatballs are a little bland. It's fairly good. It's not the best thing I've ever had, you know, spaghetti I've ever had, but it's quick and it's cheap. I dare say there's probably enough here if you did want to make a meal out of it, like a, like for dinner. Having some, maybe some garlic bread with it. A small salad. I think some uh, it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of Mrs. Dash in this. Hold on a minute. Okay, I got some Mrs. Dash on this. Mix it up a little. Oh yeah, that helps. I use Mrs. Dash a lot and garlic powder. I didn't put any garlic powder in this one. What do you think, Kitty? Do you think you would like spaghetti? Oh yeah. It's not bad now. That really helped the meatballs too. I usually doctor up things like this, <clears throat> but I, I won't, you know, I always want to try it first and see what it's like without adding anything to it to let y'all know what it's like. Um, As it was, you know, going by all things considered, 
I'm going to give it a uh, four, four stars. It's, it's pretty good even without the uh, Mrs. Dash, but you might want to put a little something on it. Um, taste it first and see if it tastes fine to you without anything on it. Of course, of course, this, you know, this is just a, some brand, you know, but it's just like, uh, Mrs. Dash and they're salt, it's salt free. So I'm not adding any salt to it. So I really, that's one reason I really like it. It adds a lot of flavor without all that salt. If you look at a lot of seasoning, uh, like seasons, seasonings like that, you'll see one of the first ingredients is salt. Uh, especially the seasoning. It'll say seasoning salt lots of times even. And you know, I don't want to add a bunch of salt to something that's already 37%. I don't want to add any to it. So, um, so that's my, uh, my take on it. I'll give it a four. Um, decent price still at $1.25. It's not too bad. Um, I don't know how much these are at Kroger or Walmart. They've got them. Um, I need to look and see. They might even be cheaper at Walmart than, than Dollar Tree. But, um, I don't think I got this one. At, I'm pretty sure I got this one at Dollar Tree. But I'm not 100% positive because I bought some dinners at uh, Walmart too. And they have banquets. So it was one or the other. Um, but I was thinking it was Dollar Tree. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, but you can, you can find them, I'm sure, at uh, Walmart. But I was looking, you know, I did just did a walkthrough at... Um, Dollar Tree and they didn't have this so that's what makes me think wonder if I got it there they, they just had the these they're actually smaller the ones at Dollar Tree so I think this one must have come from Walmart or maybe even Kroger I don't know but you know the ones at Dollar Tree they're about that big if you if you've noticed they're, they're like not near as big as this so maybe I did get it elsewhere but anyway, wherever you find, look, you know, how they have banquet frozen dinners, look for it if you want to try it. Um, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, I, I myself wouldn't eat it. You know, I may never eat one again. But then again, if things get any worse, I may get one. Uh, I don't really want to start go, going and getting uh, processed foods. A lot of processed foods you know we already got enough but what are you gonna do you know I mean and things are tight so I hope y'all enjoyed this taste test with Mike of this banquet spaghetti and meatballs it's fairly good add you some seasonings taste it first and see and add you some seasonings to it if you would like and uh, it would make a decent meal with something with it some bread and of course, if you're watching your carbs, you wouldn't want the bread, but a good salad would be good with it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this taste test with Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And God bless. Bye, everyone.